the land of Tao Chu, many of the people are dwarfs. The tallest of them never grow to more than three feet. They were sold in the market as dwarf slaves and yearly sent to court, described as an offering of natural products from the land of Tao Chu. A strange offering of natural products. I never heard of one yet. That parted men from those they love, never to meet again. Old men weeping for their grandsons, mothers for their children. One day, Yang Cheng came to govern the land. He refused to send off dwarf slaves in spite of incessant mandates. He replied to the emperor. Find in the six canonical books. In offering products, one must offer what is there and not what is not there. On the waters and lands of Tao Chu, among all the things that live, I only find dwarfish people, no dwarfish slaves. The emperor's heart was deeply moved and he sealed and sent a sprawl. The yearly tribute of dwarfish slaves is henceforth annulled. The people of Tao Chu, old ones and young ones, how great their joy. Father with son and brother with brother, henceforward keep together. From that day forevermore, they live as free men. The people of Tao Chu still enjoy this gift. And even now when they speak of the gov governor, tears start to their eyes. Dren and their children's children should forget the governor's name. Boys are born, the syllable young is often used in their forename. Music